hell no. I know I just didn't see Marissa. Not appear out of nowhere like that. I'm proud of you. It was the right thing to do. Especially after what it nearly did to Jack. Yeah. I hated you for that. I thought everything you had ever said to me was a lie. And now? I see you are good. Well, at least you can be. I'm sorry, Tess. You're gonna have to forgive me. Stephen, what are you... Stephen? Tess! Yes. Tess! Jack! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm are sorry. You no, I'm sorry I scared you. Hey, you. Where's Caleb? I don't know. The vampire ceremony, what happened here? Um, you don't have to worry. Everything's wait, wait fine. A minute. What do you mean you don't have to worry if Caleb let his no, band of vampires they're, they're loose they're on gone. the town? They're gone, everyone. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You don't have to worry about anyone getting hurt. It can't be. Guys, no, she's right. I don't sense them anymore. Stevens called off the attack. The whole thing. <sighs> That was fun. You can't let them loose, Stephen. You don't really want to hurt people. You want to be helped. You told me you were ready to find the good inside, remember? <sighs> oh, you're a sweet girl, Tess. And now you think you have some kind of power over me. You think you can fix me, you can make me better. Well, if you think that, Tess, here's to you, my guardian angel. Hey, Marissa, what's up? Hey, Ricky, what's up? I mean, um, where's Steven? What's this all about? I don't know. All I know is that at this hour, it better be good. Hey. I'm glad we could all drag our asses out of bed to be here. So, what's going on, man? What's going on is today we record the new song. You mean Newborn Heart? That sappy one about some girl? Not just any girl. An amazing one. <laughs> Not really a good time, Reese. I know. It's just that I'm a bit worried about you. Why are you worried about me? It just seems that lately you're sort of out of it, you know? Not you. No, I don't know. It's just that things are different. We don't even rehearse as much as we used to anymore. And then there was last night in the woods. When I called off the feeding. Yeah, what was that about? And then you come in this morning and announce that we're going to record this song, which is so not our style. For some girl. You seem unfocused. But maybe that's because Josh is gone. I, I know what a big help he was to you. I know how much you counted on him. So what, what I'm trying to say is, if you need someone to fill in or whatever, I totally don't have a problem with that, really. That's nice. I'm doing just fine without Joshua. But thanks for the offer. Everything's right on track. Oh, so? This is part of some bigger plan. Is that what you're trying to say? Maurice, I don't do anything without knowing exactly what I'm going to get in return. I want to try a live recording first. Everybody playing together, you got it? Sounds good, man. Man, I had no idea you had all this talent. At least in the music department, anyway. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've only seen me play this a hundred times. Yeah, of course I have. I, I, I'm just saying I still, I still can't get over it, is all. All set? Let's do it. All right. Let's let it all loose, all right? I want to blow some minds with this track. Literally. Three, four.
bad. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. bad. Please, that rocked. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's play it back. All right. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah. <sighs> To this. Hey, you got my message. So this is where the amateurs end up. Thank you. I'm glad you find this amusing. Why'd you call, Doc? Well, because you're gonna help me get out of here. You say that like you might have something that I want. But from where I'm standing, this door is locked. And it's staying that way. Steven? Steven, are you here? Tess. What a pleasant surprise. I've forgotten that I got you access to Tess. I can do that again. Hmm. But I don't need your help with Tess anymore. See, we've sort of formed a little bond of our own. You might even say we've become friends. Speaking of which, in times like this, isn't that what you people do? You turn to your friends? Yes, but my friends won't help me. Not even my own father. Bummer. I guess they all figured out you're nuttier than a fruitcake. Well, it's been real, Doc. But... Wait, wait. I really need to get out of here. For what? Kill your wife and her boyfriend? That's so unoriginal. You know, my wife is a slayer of those like you. So what? You're proposing if I get you out of here, you'll kill Lucy? Is that what this is all about? I never said anything about killing Lucy. But you want to, don't you, Doc? I know all about vengeance. She put you in here, and now she's sleeping with another man. No jury in my world would convict you. What I do about Lucy and Thornhart is my business. But you're asking me to make it mine. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Keep her distracted. Out of my face, off her toes. You almost make it sound like you're protecting her. No. To be honest with you, even though she's a slayer, I'm much more fond of Lucy than I am of you, Doc. But, like you say, what you do when you're out of here is your business. So you will help me? Consider yourself sprung. There is one other stipulation. Name it. Someday in the future, maybe tomorrow, maybe 10 years from now, I'm gonna come to you and I'll need a favor. And you, no questions asked, will grant me that favor. Do we have an understanding? Understood. We have a deal. No. 
man, I don't believe a word you're saying. I just want you to listen to me. I'm trying to explain to you that I was wrong. I don't want you to stay away from Stephen. On the contrary, I think you're exactly what he deserves. I don't have to talk to you. No, Get you don't have to talk to me, but you have to listen to me. Listen to what I have to say. Jack. Get your hands off of her. God, it's me. Yes, my dear, it's me. I'm back. Can you please take me home? Yeah. You seem like me. Let's go. We're going. Please. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Is that any way to greet an old friend? Threatening to kill him? You were never a friend, Joshua. You're an employee. So I ask you again, what did you say to send Tess screaming into the night? I was simply trying to explain to her that I had misjudged her. You're scrambling, Joshua. Not a very attractive quality for a vampire. How do you know? I sensed you the moment I walked in. It was Elizabeth, wasn't it? Allison and Rafe were getting too close to the truth about the little prank that we played on them. You let a slayer go on the trip and you didn't even know it. I thought I'd taken care of the problem before we left. Well, obviously, since he's still walking around, you didn't. I was trying to convince Allison to tell me the truth. Elizabeth misunderstood the situation. I'm sure you can imagine the rest. Eternal life is too good for you. Elizabeth should have drained you and tossed you away. What's that? Apparently it's the answer to all your problems. Go on. Use it. Do what you need to do to me. If I decide to kill you, Joshua, I won't need a prop. Although it was an all very dramatic gesture and all. But you must have known I wouldn't take you up on it. I was deadly serious. No killing today. But don't disappoint me again. And here I thought my absence might perhaps make your heart grow fonder. I guess in some ways you were missed. The band's become rather unruly since you left. I think I've gone soft. I think Newborn Heart is a brilliant song. I think it's one of your best. I wrote it for her. Tess? I need Tess to trust me. To believe that I've changed. So this really is about bringing Olivia back. You can never take your eye off the prize, Joshua. Forcing Tess isn't going to work. It'd just be killing her softly. Using Tess's goodness against her. Thank you. So that charade in the woods that was just... Calling out the vampires? Uh, to tell the truth, I was almost pissed enough to go through with it. But you didn't follow your original instinct, did you? You would have. We'll never know. No, we won't. Actually, I have Tess exactly where I want her. She thinks she, she's changed me. That somehow she's warmed my cold heart. Then why don't you just pull Olivia out of Tess and be done with it? This task requires subtlety. Finesse. Tess is fragile. Her heart unprotected. It could be easily damaged. Are you sure it's Olivia that you want, and not Tess? I was born to love Olivia. She's in my blood. Tess is just along for the ride. A means to an end. And perhaps I can help you, now that I am stronger. <laughs> make no mistake. Just because you're one of us now, doesn't make you equal. I don't need your help. I'm aware of my position. And never forget, I can end this for you at any time. You have gone soft, Caleb. You 
You think you know me? You have no idea. By the time you find out, it'll be way too late. Hey, what is it? What's wrong? Is it, t what, is it Tess? I set her up. What? Yes. She thinks she can heal him. And man, she's not going to stop. And I don't know what to do. Okay, all right, slow down. Well, what did you do? I lied to her. I told her that I believed that she could heal vampires. I support the mission to save Caleb. Oh, my God, Jack. What the hell was I supposed to do, Allison? I just let her go, go and let Caleb destroy her, just like he did Livy? He's going to destroy us. He's going to destroy us all if we don't do something. And I want you to know, I want to be the one that drives a stake through his heart. Jack, how can anyone ever take you away from me? Okay, where are you, Jack? You said you were coming home. First Valentine's together. a vampire. Lucy and I will take care of this. Wait, are you... Are you saying that you're just gonna kill him right in front of her? Well, it may be the only shot we have. What? You you don't agree with it? No. I mean, I, I mean I'm just not a big fan of Caleb's. That's, that's no secret. But well, using Tess like this, I mean, I, I just... She doesn't have any clue, does she? No, she doesn't. But, Allison, if we don't do it this way, Caleb's gonna have his way with her. Right, just like he did with Livy. Yeah, just like he did with Livy, except this time, I'm not going to let him do it to Tess. Right. What is this? That's Tess's Valentine's gift. Jack, this is a doll. You're treating her just like a child. It has sentimental value wait, to wait, her. Wait, stop. Allison. Wait a second. You're trying to keep Tess pure and innocent, just like you found her, and Caleb wants her to be the Livy the evil Livy she used to be. She's neither one of them. You guys are pulling her apart and you don't even realize it. Hey. I'm glad you could come. Why did you call me here? Well, to be honest, I wrote you something. Because sometimes when I talk to you, the words don't always come out right. But it was important for me to let you know what you mean to me. What, Allison, so now I'm no better than Caleb? Is that it? No, that, that's not what she meant. No, that's exactly what I meant. Caleb is so obsessed with getting Livy back, and, and you'll do anything to get your sweet, innocent Tess back. Yeah, of course I will. She's my life. She's not a whole person, Jack. And neither is Livy. You and Caleb, you're both trying so desperately just to hang on to your own versions of her. You're not giving her any chance to ever be complete. Tess is a whole person just the way she is. And if we don't get Caleb away from her, then he's going to corrupt her just like he did Libby. Rafe, what do you think? I think given the chance, Caleb is going to turn Tess into something we don't even recognize. Okay, and if it were me, I'd do anything to stop that. That's it. That's, that's newborn heart. That was beautiful. Thank you. It's my Valentine's Day present to you. Did I, did I do something to make you feel uncomfortable? A little. Why? When I told you it wasn't a trick, it, it's just because it's the way you make me feel, and, and you helped me get there. Me? Tess, I've made so many mistakes. Trying to replace Olivia with Livy, 
and then then and then using you to try to reach her i don't want to do that anymore when i wrote the song i was thinking about how you've made me feel and that's how you've made me feel like i've been reborn like the whole world is open to me now and i'm not destined to repeat the same mistakes i made before i owe you this is yours What was that for? Just to thank you for everything you've done for me. You don't have to thank me. I want to help. I got something else for you. What is it? It's a... Oh, Steven. It's a music box. It's something that, uh... Olivia was very, very fond of. It's nice. Hmm. Well, maybe when you listen to it, it'll bring you closer to Livy. And maybe closer to me. Um, I, I really think I should go. Now, Stephen, it's getting late, and Jack will wonder where I am. Good night, Tess. You know, Stephen, just because you can't have Livy back doesn't mean you'll never love again. Tess. I'll find love again. 